In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, we'll be learning to make this transition with some cracks in a very simple way. So, you can see that I already have a couple of videos in my project. Let me drag one of the video to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created with that video settings. Now, let me move this video one layer above, something like this. And I'll drag my second video just below it. And I would like to create a transition between these two clips at this point here. You can also see that we have a transition overlay in place that I downloaded from Pixabay. You can go to the link in the description and download this, you know, the transition with some cracks. And you can use it in your project absolutely for free. So once you have it inside your project, Drag this clip onto the top of these two videos, like this. And let me adjust the second video a bit, just like this. And I'll click on this razor tool and cut the video one exactly to this point so that it falls under the transition layer. And now I'll go to the FX panel. And if you don't find this FX panel, go to window and ensure that FX is checked. And I'll type in track mat. And you can see that we have an effect called track mat key. And I'll drag this onto video one. Once you do that, you can see that in the effect controls, the track mat key effect is added. And I'll change the mat from none to video three because the transition layer is in the video three. So I'll change this to video three. And I'll change composite using matte alpha to matte luma. And if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the transition is happening. But that is not what we want. We want to reverse this video in such a way that it looks as if it is a reveal. I'll right click here. And from speed and duration, I'll check this reverse speed so that the video is reversed now. And the transition happens something like this. So if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the transition is happening. And that is what we need. I hope you found this video helpful. And if that's the case, give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time with another tutorial.